Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you inside my fridge and pantry. I'm going to do a full tour of my fridge and my pantry. I'm going to show you how I organize everything and all the food that I keep in my fridge and pantry on an every week, every day basis. We just went grocery shopping, so everything's nice and stocked up. So let's get started with the pantry first and then I'm going to show you inside the fridge and the freezer. big storage pantry area which is really nice you can just keep all the food items in here i'll try link everything below for you that i can find that i buy online like on amazon um or i'll just let you know like where it's from so let's start at the bottom here at the bottom i have a whole lot of these chips these are actually for rob um i get these from amazon for him i buy them in like bulk it's a little bit cheaper they multi-grain tortilla chips and these are the healthiest ones that I could find of these types of chips and at the back there I also have these um, vegetable chips they're basically like normal chips but they're made with vegetables and they're supposed to be a little bit healthier so I get those for him as well so in here we have a whole lot of snack bars I like to keep them in these um, plastic storage containers that I got from Amazon I've got a whole lot of my favorite snack bars Naked Peanut Delight Naked Coca Coconut, these are some of my favorite ones. I get these from Amazon. Um, Larabar, Peanut Butter and Jelly. What else are my favorites? Uh, I love the Larabar Peanut Butter Cookie and the Larabar Nut and Seed Crunchy Bar. It's really good. So I've got a whole lot of those. And then those are more my ones. Um, I've got a random one here from South Africa. We got this when we were in South Africa when we were just there. And these are Rob's favorite ones, these kind dark chocolate mocha almond ones. So yeah, just a whole lot of different types of snack bars. And then in this one, we have, these are just mixed nuts. They've got like dried cranberries and mixed nuts in them. And then these are the That's It bars. It's just got apple and strawberry in. And I've also got some mango ones, just apple and mango. But these ones are my favorite ones, the apple and strawberry. And they say it's just one apple and 12 strawberries in this fruit bar. Over here I have some little mixed nut bags. These are roasted and salted peanuts and raisins. Uh, these are from Woolworths in South Africa as well. And some dry roasted almonds. Then over here in this second bottom shelf, we have some protein powders. These are all of Rob's protein powders on the side here. And then over here, I've got some, you guys see me use this all the time. It's the About Time Vegan Protein and Chocolate. And the same one in vanilla. I don't know why the containers are different. Sometimes when I get them, they're different, but they're exactly the same thing. This is just the vanilla and this is the chocolate. And then over here, I've got some different green powders that Rob and I add to smoothies. Um, got a few different ones. This one is my favorite one. I use this in my smoothie every single day. And I think Rob and I both use this in our smoothies every time we make it. He actually found this one on Amazon and um, it seems to be a really good one. And yeah, and then I love the flavor of this one. So it's got like an acai berry type of flavor. So that's really good. And then something, I have mentioned this to you guys before, I've been using this bone broth protein powder in my smoothies um, I've been getting the vanilla flavor it actually tastes really good I didn't like the plain flavor but I I do have that one here I'll use this um, this one can be added to things like soups like savory dishes because it's unflavored so I'll use this one in soups and then I'll use this vanilla one in, in smoothie so that's everything there so now we have this row which is <laughs> me just organizing everything into very neat rows um, I've got a whole lot of black beans here. I get these organic black beans from Trader Joe's. There's just some sea salt and black beans in there. And I've got some kidney beans. And I've also at the back here got some organic pinto beans. So this row is just basically the kidney beans, black beans and pinto beans. I use those a lot when I cook. Then over here we've got some pasta sauce. Rob got this to try. I don't think he's tried it yet, but um, we've got that. We've got one, one can of tuna, which no one has eaten. And we've got some whole corn kernels here. There's no sugar added to this, so I wanted to try it. I haven't tried it yet, but I've got a couple of those. 
and then here I love these Greek Kalamata olives so we've we eat quite a lot of these so I've got a few jars of these in the pantry and I've also got um, some coconut oil these are all everything here is like unopened it's like spares the things that we use a lot of um, I just keep like stock of it in here so I've got some coconut oil there then I've got like this as an emergency meal it's lentil soup by the brands 365 they have pretty healthy options for like pre-bought things so that's like an emergency meal and at the back here I have some chicken stock and I have some vegetable stock these are both from Trader Joe's um, these are just nice to put use for soup or what I've actually been doing sometimes is cooking this with rice instead of using water I'll just use like a whole lot of vegetable stock and it just gives the rice a little bit of flavor here we have a spare marmite because <laughs> um, I love marmite this is the South African marmite so I always bring that with me when I come back and here we've got some extra nut butters. Got some mixed nut butter. This is amazing. Dry roasted and salted almonds, cashews, walnuts, Brazil nuts, hazelnuts, and pecan nuts. It's got this amazing flavor. And I've also got some spare almond butter and some peanut butters. I try to get all of them unsalted and like no salt and no sugar in them. So these are all my spares. I do eat quite a lot of almond and peanut butter. So I have quite a few of those in there. And then we've got these pickles. Uh, Rob and I have been eating quite a lot of these lately. I don't know, we're going through this phase. These are so good and they don't have any sugar in them. So that's why I get these ones specifically. And yeah, they taste really good. So we've got a whole lot of those in there. And then over here, I've got some sauces and things that I like to use. This is coconut vinegar. Really, really good in salad. You can cook with it, add some flavor to meals. Really good. Um, I've got some pomegranate vinegar. I haven't actually used this yet. I keep forgetting to use this, but I found this at Whole Foods and it's just it's just got vinegar and pomegranate juice in it. So I thought that that sounded healthy. I've got some random salad dressings that I bought here. Um, it's the brand Simple Girl. I found this on Amazon and the ingredients are pretty healthy it's sweetened with just a little bit of stevia there's no like really bad ingredients in them so i got i got this pack with like a whole lot of different ones some of them i've tried which you'll see in my fridge but i haven't tried these two ones yet um we've got some sweet chili sauce in there which is unopened and i've got some tomato paste which is what i cooked with it's just like um all that is in, all that's in it is tomato and salt so i've got a couple of these at the back and I like to cook with them quite a lot. Put those all back. Then, oh my gosh, I love this ketchup. I found this. One of you guys actually recommended this to me. And I got it off, off, of, off of Amazon. I found it there. It, it's a little bit expensive. But it's really good. And it's sweetened with dates actually. So it has quite like a unique taste. But it's so delicious. Um, so it's probably one of the healthiest ketchups that I've found. But this one actually came out recently, and I've, this is the one that I've been eating. It's a lot cheaper than that one. But brand Primal Kitchen, and it's unsweetened. So this is probably the ketchup that I eat the most often because it's a bit cheaper, and yeah, it's really good. Then I've got some mustard. This is the brand of mustard that I really like. It's by the brand by the brand Simple Truth Organic, and it's there's no sugar in it. It's just a really healthy mustard. And here at the back something that i absolutely love absolutely love this coconut aminos it's it's supposed to be like a healthier alternative to soy sauce and i use it for cooking so much i use it i mix it with lemon juice and to make a little salad dressing it's really good so i actually eat a lot of that probably more than i should it was back okay then here we just have some spares of things that we use a lot of i've got some ground pepper here rob really likes cane pepper so we've got a few of those got some oregano we've got some salt and pepper just some extras of those for the just the spices we use the most often for when we run out then here i have a whole lot of chewing gum this is by the brand spree spry i actually don't know how to say that i think it's spry it's made with xylitol. This is the healthiest chewing gum that I've found. Um, that, and it actually tastes really good as well. Sweetened with xylitol that's actually supposed to be good for your teeth. So I just keep a whole lot of those. There's like so many of them. I just buy them in bulk off, off of Amazon. And then we've got a whole lot there. Then here I've got some chocolate. This is 100% 
dark chocolate there's only cocoa in it that it actually tastes really good but lately i've more been baking with this more like a baking chocolate you can like chop it up and use it as little chocolate chips and muffins or something like that if you want like healthy chocolate chips and then here we have some roasted seaweed this is you can buy these and these like little snack packs i got these ones from trader joe's and i don't generally like snack on them but sometimes i'll make poke bowls and then i'll just crumble a little bit onto that i've actually showed you guys a recipe with that so i'll link that below um the video that i made that in and then here we just have a spare regular ketchup over there so that's everything in this part of the pantry i like to keep everything in little little straight neat lines seems to make me happy to keep them organized like that okay then over here we have so this is like all unopened things in our pantry and then here's things that we like eat from every single day i think i picked the shelf because it's the easiest one for me to reach <laughs> to have all the everyday things on here we have an open bag of rob's um, multi-grain tortilla chips the same ones that are at the bottom there so he's got his open ones here I use these little stainless steel clips to you know help keep it fresh I got those off of Amazon I've got the same plastic storage containers as I showed you on the bottom shelf then here I have an opened um, oats it's just old-fashioned organic whole grain rolled oats over there what else do we have in here? We've got some microwave popcorn. I don't think Rob actually ever eats this, but we did buy it once upon a time, so it's in there. Um, we've got Rob's favorite cereal. He, he has just like a little bit of this on his oatmeal sometimes in the morning, just like a little bit on the top. It's just the Clusters chocolate almond granola from Trader Joe's, so I don't eat that, but he, he likes that one just a little bit. And then... Here we have some unsweetened instant oatmeal from Trader Joe's. This one's really nice. It's unsweetened, so it's just like oats. And then there's also some quinoa, some amaranth, some flax seeds, and some chia seeds ground up in there. So it's like you get like a little bit of healthy fats and protein in there as well. And it's really nice if you're like in a rush. Yeah, this is the healthiest, I would say, the healthiest instant oatmeal that I could find. Um, for Rob, because sometimes he just grabs these ones, it's just quicker than making oats. Um, but it's organic, whole grain, rolled oats. There's no sugar in it, there's no sweetener in it, there's no flavoring, it's just plain. And then he'll do like toppings on top of that. So I got this one because it was the healthiest one that I could find out of instant oats. So that's all of that stuff in there. And then in this one, we have peanut butter so these are like open ones peanut butter creamy almond butter and crunchy almond butter there's no they're the same ones as down there no sugar no salt in them and then over here we have an opened coconut oil i've just been getting the trader joe's ones i just try to get what and one that says it's like cold pressed and unrefined um, but I did get one previously off of Amazon as well that I really liked, so I'll link that below for you. I've got some raw cocoa nibs in this little jar, cute little jar with a little label, and some sodium bicarb. They're just in here because they're the only small jars I have of food, so I thought I'd just keep them in here to keep it organized. And I've got some trivia, which I use sometimes for baking. You guys have seen when I make muffins and things like that, then I'll usually just use a little bit of this to sweeten it. It's one of the healthiest sweeteners I've found. It's um, I think it's just erythritol and stevia, yeah. So I really like that one. It's supposed to have less impact on your blood sugar levels. Then over here, we've got some honey and we've got some 100% pure maple syrup. I got this from Trader Joe's and I got this one. I think I got this at Whole Foods or Sprouts, but I'm sure you can get something like this on Amazon too. Then over here, we've got all of our daily food that I keep in these little containers. I got these off of Amazon and I think they're really cute. They're like little plastic containers. They come in different sizes and you can just organize all of your pantry foods in them. So I've been finding these really helpful. So these are little honey mint chocolates from Trader Joe's. You've probably seen me talk about them before. I wish I had one in an actual bag that I could show you here, but all that's in it is peppermint oil, honey, and 
cocoa. That's it. And they're like these little chocolates. So Rob and I both really like these. So I got some of these and I put them in here and it's a really pretty color. So I like that there. And I've got some maca powder. So everything's like labeled here. I've got some dry roasted peanuts. These are from Trader Joe's. There's no salt. There's no sugar in this. Oh, obviously there's no sugar, but there's no, they're unsalted. Um, I've got some raw chia seeds. I use these quite a lot, so this is usually quite full. That's why I've got that in a big container. What else do I have here? I've got some coconut flakes. These are unsweetened, um, so no sugar. I've got some dried prunes. <laughs> I've got some dried raisins. I try to get these. All the dried fruit that I buy like this, I try to get them with no sugar, no extra sugar, and preservative free. So like no sulfates, things like that. And what else do we have? We've got cocoa powder and sweetened cocoa powder. And oh, this is fun. I've got these little xylitol lollipops, sugar free. I actually haven't had one in a while, but they're actually pretty tasty. They're like these little lollipops. They're just like general lollipops, but they're made with xylitol. They're supposed to be better for your teeth. <laughs> but yeah, I've just got a few of those in there. I got them off of Amazon. Let's see what is it called. Oh, Zolly Pops. I got some coconut sugar. This is probably my favorite sugar to bake with, to use. I really like it. So you can get off of Amazon. I got it off of Amazon. I'll link that below for you. And some unsweetened desiccated coconut. This is really nice to bake with and cook with. That's generally what I use it for. And what else? Oh, we've just got some baking soda here. We've got some baking powder. And we've got some nutritional yeast, which you guys have seen that I sometimes sprinkle them on top of like a little tortilla pizza. I just showed you guys that actually recently in a video, so I'll link that below where I used that. <laughs> okay. All organized again. Then over here on this shelf, um, the shelf I can semi reach. I'm a little bit short, so I'm gonna have to get a little stool to stand on to reach the top shelf. But actually, you know what? I think I'm just gonna get it right now. <laughs> I'm a little bit short, so I have to stand on this um, to, <laughs> to reach up here. <laughs> but here we have a whole lot of pantry staples. These are all unopened as well, and I keep them a little bit high up because I can't reach them all the time so I have to stand on something. So here, this is the brand that I get of chia seeds. So I need to fill up that container because it's running a little bit low. Viva Naturals chia seeds. And I've also got here, same brand, Viva Naturals cocoa powder, organic cocoa powder, it's unsweetened. So those got really good reviews on Amazon, so I bought them. Okay, this is like my favorite thing. Oh my gosh. Mm. Cocoa Pops, I love Cocoa Pops so much. And these are the healthiest Cocoa Pops that I have managed to find. The, they're made from organic sprouted whole grain brown rice, organic coconut sugar, organic cocoa powder. So since coconut sugar is my favorite sugar, I thought this was amazing and they taste, it tastes incredible. So this with some almond milk or this sprinkled on top of some coconut yogurt. Oh my gosh, my favorite. So yummy. Um, I've got another one of Rob's, just the clusters granola this is another granola for rob it's um i just found it and it seemed healthier so i got that for him some microwave popcorn which we've never used and a big bag of coconut sugar i just like buy them in bulk because it's a lot cheaper i got this off of amazon as well right at the back we've got a really big bag of brown rice flour you guys know that i love to cook with oat flour and brown rice flour so i got a big bag of this and I got this off of Amazon as well. I'll link it below for you if I can find it. So I keep those right at the back there. And then I keep all of these over here. And then over here, we've got the same containers that we've had on some of the other shelves, these plastic storage containers. Yeah, I buy these on bulk in Amazon. I buy these in bulk on Amazon. The rye bread that you guys always see me eat, it's organic whole rye bread and it's like really whole grain and it's one of the healthiest breads that I've found. I love rye bread. I can't eat wheat, but I love rye bread. And then I've got some almond milk here. I've got a couple of these. I've got unsweetened vanilla and I've got just unsweetened the original flavor. So those are the almond milks that I've been buying. So I've got all my bread 
and my milk. And then in this next one, we've got some other grains that are unopened. We've got some organic rice and quinoa cereal. I bought this at Trader Joe's. I actually haven't tried this yet, but yeah, I really need to try it. It sounds really good. It's just made with um, rice and quinoa. And it's supposed to make like a little porridge. It sounds fun. And I've got some, I've really been liking this quick cooking 15 minute brown rice it's like pre-cooked and then they dry it or something like that to make it cook quicker when you want to make it so i've showed you guys this before but it really saves so much time because brown rice takes like 40 minutes to cook it takes a really long time so yeah that helps i've got some more of this trader joe's unsweetened instant oatmeal there some brown rice spaghetti this is my favorite kind of pasta made with brown rice so it's like whole grain and it's gluten free and yeah i really like that one and then i've got another random little bag of oats here this is by the brand bob's red mill it's organic old-fashioned rolled oats so i bought that and i've just got that in there so that's kind of like some grains unopened grain items there at the top we've got so many things of oats because rob and i often both have oatmeal in the morning so we kind of just eat like a lot of it so i i recently found this brand called nature's path um they've got old-fashioned whole grain rolled oats so i thought that i should maybe start trying to eat organic oats it sounds like it could be a good idea so i bought this recently and it's really nice so I've got like a whole lot of these at the back there. There's so many. I buy them in bulk off of Amazon because it's cheaper. And then I've got a whole lot of these instant oatmeal Quaker organic ones that I showed you. The same one that I had there. I've, I bought a whole lot of these for Rod. So they all sit up there and I buy them in bulk as well. And then over here I've got some a whole lot of these Quaker oats. Um, these ones are cheaper than these ones. The only difference is that these ones are not organic. But it's like the same price for these two so this one's obviously cheaper but this one's organic everything else about them is like the same so that is everything in my pantry showed you everything did a lot of talking so now i'm going to show you everything in my fridge and my pantry which is just down here so in the fridge i'll just give you a quick overview that's kind of what it's looking like just give you a rough overview the freezer was not this tidy. I tidied this yesterday because I needed to organize it anyway. I don't really use it that much, so it was just looking like a mess. But I'll show you that in a second. Let's start with the fridge. This is hot open. Uh, <laughs> Let's start with the fridge because I feel like it's a little bit more exciting. Um, and this is what I use most of the time. So at the top here, I have got these healthy soda type things. It's sparkling water with lemon and ginger juice. I've mentioned them to you guys before. I get them at Trader Joe's. They're probably my favorite thing right now. I love ginger and I love lemon and there's no calories in them. So those are, I probably have one every single day. They're my favorite. Then I've also got here some Spindrift. These are sparkling water and there's just a little bit of fresh squeezed fruit juice in it this one's grapefruit and this one's a little bit of orange and mango juice in it so they're really healthy here we have some synergy kombucha these are rubs he's got the cosmic cranberry one another cosmic cranberry one and the trilogy one i think this one's his favorite the trilogy kombucha and that's our favorite brand to buy in kombucha and then over here we have some celery juice i like having all the got all the drinks at the top i feel like i've always wanted to do that so got all the drinks at the top looks fancy then over here i've got some prepped overnight oats um actually this is the protein overnight oats that i showed you guys recently in a video i'll link that below but that's probably my favorite overnight oats to make at the moment. It's got like a lot of protein in it and it's really good. Over here we've got fresh berries. I'm obsessed with eating fresh berries. My favorite fruit right now is raspberries. So I've got a whole lot of raspberries there. I've just been getting, I just get whatever looks good at the store when I go. I got this one by Driscoll's. They usually have like really nice raspberries. 
So I got those there. Then over here, we have some fresh blueberries. And we also have some blackberries. Then over here, we've got a whole lot of avocados. Just a whole lot of those in there. Here we have, I actually bought this little thing to put all of Rob's cheese and butter into. Um, I don't eat dairy, so I, I just wanted to like keep it separate, but he really likes this organic cheddar cheese from Trader Joe's. It's New Zealand cheese. Um, he says it tastes really good. So we've got that in there and he's got some Kerrygold butter. So that's his. But then I did actually, I did actually just throw this in there anyway, because I didn't know where to put it in the fridge, but I should probably put it somewhere else. It's um, vegan mozzarella that I found. I haven't tried this yet, but I just found it and I thought it looks really good. It's supposed to be good for pizzas and things like that. And then I've got some so delicious grated mozzarella. So I thought those would be nice to do on like a healthy pizza, the dairy free, so I can eat that. And then over here we have some eggs. I've been getting these organic brown eggs from Trader Joe's. We've got two of those over there. And over here, these are rubs. Um, we have like quite a busy week, so we just got something quick that Rob can eat. We got some potato salad and some grilled lemon pepper chicken that he can just make quick meals with. We don't always get those, but um, sometimes if we know we're going to have a really busy week, then we'll just like grab something ready made like that when we go to the store. Then also for Rob, we got this broccoli slaw and kale salad with chicken and it's got dried cranberries in it. So this is for him, but I've had this before. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I got this the last time I went to Disneyland. I got one of these and I ate it there and oh my gosh. Mm. I've been getting this lately to put in salads. It's broccoli slaw. It's basically like shredded carrot and broccoli and it's really nice in a salad. So that's what I've been getting that for. Here we have some big tomatoes, organic vine tomatoes. <laughs> They're like on the vine. Um, so we got some of those. And then we got some little baby tomatoes. These are called sugar plum tomatoes, but they're like these tiny little tomatoes. They're really cute. And we've also got some cucumber over there. So this is kind of like all our salad ingredients in the straw over there. Oh, close the fridge. Okay, that is kind of like all our salad ingredients in the straw over there. Then over here, we have some, I actually made these muffins. They're banana, oat, and vanilla protein muffins. Um, I've showed you guys these recently, two different types. This one, and like a chocolate blueberry one. They're my favorite muffins to make at the moment. They're really healthy, and there's a lot of fiber in them. There's, there's some protein in them as well. I made a batch of like 24 I think so it fits in these two glass containers I've been storing food like meal prep food in these glass containers um, so yeah I'll link that recipe below for you guys if you haven't seen it already they're amazing and then here's some chocolate clusters I've showed you guys this recipe before these are Rob's favorite so I made these for him for our anniversary but it's a really easy recipe and then here I have that whole grain organic rye bread. I don't have a container that's big enough to keep this bread in, so I actually just cut the slices in half and then I keep them in a little container. I just generally keep bread in the fridge so it stays fresher for longer. So that's all of our like pre-prepped yeah, things in there. And here we have the second vegetable drawer. These are generally like vegetables that we cook with. Here we've got some sliced button mushrooms because I was lazy and I didn't want to slice them myself so I got these ones. We've got some broccoli, some organic long stemmed baby broccoli. We sort of switch it up of getting the long stemmed one and the little florets but right now this week we got the long stemmed one and we also got some organic zucchini squash. And then here we have a whole lot of baby spinach. We've got three and a half bags of baby spinach in here because Rob and I both have baby spinach in our smoothies every single day. We pretty much both have smoothies every day. So we use baby spinach in there. When we make salad, there's baby spinach in there. So we just use a lot of it. And then the bottom drawer here, we've got 
some bananas and we've got a whole lot of little oranges over there so this is kind of like the fruit the fruit drawer so that's everything on that side of the fridge over here we've got some more eggs okay i don't usually have this many eggs but i forgot that we had so many eggs so i actually bought some more but we don't we would probably usually just have like one tray of eggs in the fridge but right now we have three which is not usual over here i've got some sunflower seed butter it's great for people who are allergic to nuts or things like that but you can it's really good as well this is i've got the unsweetened one and i've also got some tahini here i use these probably the most to make like creamy salad dressings i've showed you guys that before and the reason i keep these ones in the fridge is because i don't use them as often as i use like nut butters so those all our nut butters are in the in the pantry because I I like eat them often, so I go through them. But these ones I don't keep as I don't eat them as often, so I keep them in the fridge. And then here we've got two different things of horseradish. These are Rob's. He really likes horseradish. And then I've got this one little thing of mayonnaise by the brand Primal Kitchen. This is supposed to be a healthier one, so that's why I got it. And then over here I've got some probiotics. It's actually best to get probiotics that you can keep in the fridge. So this is a really good brand, brand Garden of Life. So I've got those ones there. And then we've got an opened jar of pickles. The same one that was in the pantry. And we've got an open jar of the Kalamata olives. So, oh, fridge is wanting me to close it. So we've got the olives and the pickles there. Then over here, I've got some edamame. Some This is fully cooked edamame. It's really nice to put on a salad. I, it's like my latest obsession. I love having a salad with edamame and brown rice and baby spinach and like a whole lot of vegetables in. And also with these baby beets. I used to not be as lazy and I used to cook these myself and save them but these are some pre-steamed and peeled baby beets which you can put I put them in a salad I just cut them up when I put them in a salad I used to either roast them in the oven or steam them myself and then just like prep them in the fridge so I could throw them into a salad but now I guess I'm a bit more lazy so I just buy them yeah I've got a different kind of probiotic this is a probiotic coconut water it's like fermented coconut water and it's supposed to be a really good dairy-free probiotic um, you take like a tablespoon of it a day and then over here I've got some an opened container of the almond milk the unsweetened almond milk I've got a coconut water I don't always have coconut water in the fridge but I do get it every now and again and this is probably the brand that I generally buy when I buy it, the Zico brand um, it's unsweetened and it says it's not from concentrate so that's what I try to look for when I get coconut water then over here, <laughs> over here, <laughs> we have Rob smoothie. He makes this, he meal preps this and he makes enough smoothie for like a few days and then he keeps it in this jar and it looks really gross. But he says it actually tastes pretty nice and he does like protein powder, baby spinach, blueberries, banana. He does like all of those kind of things and he has it every single morning. I must say he's very committed to his health routine and he has a smoothie every single morning without fail it's very impressive and then at the bottom here we just have a whole lot of condiments we've got an opened ketchup the same one that was in the pantry over here i mentioned that simple gold brand and um, i bought a, like a box of a whole lot of them to try so these are the ones that i've opened this brand it's actually quite low calories for the the serving sizes so that's quite nice if you're trying to lose weight or something like that then over here we've got some steak sauce that i tried from primal pet primal kitchen it's the same brand i must be honest i don't know if this is my favorite i did try it it's not my favorite i don't think i'll buy it again and then i've got the primal it's the same brand the primal ketchup primal kitchen ketchup it's my favorite i love this ketchup and an open one of the mustard these are the same ones that i showed you that were in the pantry then over here i've got the same coconut aminos and the same coconut vinegar that i showed you they were in the pantry these are just opened ones and then over here i've got an apple cider vinegar i just got the ones at trader joe's but yeah there's a few different brands that i've tried in that so that's everything in the fridge and now 
we're gonna go through the freezer really quickly. There's not that much stuff in here because I don't really keep that much stuff in here, but we do have a lot of blueberries in here. A lot of frozen blueberries because it's a lot more affordable to buy these, to buy frozen berries to use for smoothies. So that's what Rob and I use them for. So we've got all the, we've got a whole lot of blueberries there, and then we've got a whole lot of raspberries here. A whole lot of frozen raspberries. Then I've got an open bag of blueberries here. Um, there's a few different types. I've got some different types of blueberries here. So this is another type that I've got here. Then over here, I've got some So Delicious Cocoa Whip. This is dairy free. It's made with coconut milk. And um, yeah, I was actually, um, if you guys watched my Christmas videos that I did, I did this hot cocoa recipe and I did like a little bit of this on top. Really good. Then, I just got these, I bought these, these little chicken meatball things. They're teriyaki and ginger, gluten free. I don't usually buy things like this, but I just bought them to try. Um, they're very nice actually. These are probably the healthiest freezer meals that I could find. I got these at, I think I got these at Rolf's, um, at the Rolf's supermarket. And I got this chimichurri quinoa bowl and a sweet potato quinoa bowl. There's they're quite low in calories as well so it's more like a little it's like a little side dish you could have like something else with these as well but these are nice for like emergency freezer meals got a whole lot of rubs pizzas he's got just a couple of different ones from trader joe's but they're dairy and there's wheat in them so i can't eat them he really likes this one it's like this wood-fired pizza with red pepper cheese i think it's like a mozzarella pizza but then it's just got pizza it's got little peppers and it's got like something spicy on it and a little margarita pizza and this one he likes a lot as well it's like this little it's got a little pepperoni and roasted peppers and stuff like that on yeah i've got a few frozen vegetables i've got some organic peas which i actually really like to put in like little stir fries with brown rice or something like that and then I've got this little thing that I got at Trader Joe's. I don't know, it's just quinoa with some a few vegetables in it. It's like a pre-made frozen vegetable dish. And then I bought this, I actually haven't tried this yet, but I thought it looked so fun. Organic rainbow cauliflower. It's like purple cauliflower, green cauliflower, yellow cauliflower, and white cauliflower. So I just thought that looked really pretty. I've never seen anything like this in my life, so I thought I had to get this and try it. At the bottom here, we've got some, these are rubs. Every now and again, he likes to have this on like the weekend as like a little treat. Um, they're just potato fries cut up from Trader Joe's. And there's an open bag over there. I just sealed them with these stainless steel clips. And then I've got some pre-cooked shrimp from Trader Joe's. It's, they've been peeled and everything. So I've got that there. And I've got an open one over there. And then over here on this side, we're almost done, but we've got Rob's ice cream. He likes this chocolate one from Trader Joe's, but it's got dairy in it, so I can't eat it. But then we've got my ice cream. These are my two favorites by Coconut Bliss. It's made with coconut milk, so it's dairy free, and it's it, they use coconut sugar, which is my favorite sugar. This is my favorite one. It's the Vanilla Island. Absolute favorite. I could probably eat a whole one of these. Um, it's really good. And then the dark chocolate as well. This one's very rich though, so I can't eat a lot of that, but it's really good. At the bottom here, we've just got some bread, some sprout, sprouted multigrain bread that Rob eats. It's, um, it does have wheat in it, so I can't eat it. That's his bread that he eats. But I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed seeing everything in my fridge, in my freezer, in my pantry. I really was in detail and told you everything that's in there. I went through everything. But I'll try and link whatever I can find. I do buy a lot of the stuff on Amazon and online, like in bulk. It's a lot cheaper to do that often. So I'll try to link everything that I can below for you guys. Um, anything that I can find that I do buy online or I'll just try to list some of the things that some of my favorite items But I really hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful enjoy seeing how I organize my pantry and what I keep on my pen in my pantry on a daily weekly ba basis But yeah, make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe to my channel for more videos Don't forget to turn on the post notification bell to get notified when I upload and to, um, Comment below. Don't forget to comment below. I'd love to hear from you and I'll see you guys again very soon